Hi friends, this is Rasha Karadi. Friends, in this video, we will see many to many relationships in JPA. For that, I am using SQL Developer and Eclipse. Uh, in this video, I want to take three tables. Three tables, one for. I want to take three tables, one for employee table, another one is for address. And I want to take one more table which will store the primary keys of both tables employee and address table. I want to store in this table, third table. In employee table, I want to make the employee number as primary key. And in address table, I want to make the address ID as primary key. That both primary keys I want to store in another table where we call as um, employee, some, ta or some table name we will give. But we will refer this to these two primary keys with this table. This is the thing we are going to do in this video. For that, first go open your SQL developer. Uh, here uh, already I have three tables. I am going to drop the three tables. Select the table, just go, just drop the table. Uh, it is giving some error message. What I am trying to do is just uh, first to remove this employ this table okay now i'm trying to remove a second table also okay one more table is there just i'm trying to delete that table also okay first we need to create the three tables for that just go to that SQL. The syntax for creating the table is just create table. You can give any table name, but in case in my case I am taking as employee. Employee underscore TBL is the table name. I want three columns in this table. For that I am taking one is employee number, which is of number, which is storing numbers of five characters. After that, I want to store the name of that employee name, which is of where character. It is able to store 20 characters, where I am giving only 20 characters. After that, I want to store the salary of the employee also. Salary of number. And then but the number I want to store in double, so that's why I am giving 10 comma 2. 2 is a secure position. Now we are ready with the table syntax. Just select that uh, uh, statements. Just run it. Here you can see the table is created. After that, I want to in I want to make e number as primary key. For that, I am altering the table. Just the command for alter the table is just alter table use the table name employee employee underscore tbl after that in order to make the primary key we need to use that constraint add constraint add constraint give any constraint name for a readability purpose i am giving this employee employee underscore e number underscore some key in order to recognize it is as primary key after that primary key primary key give that column name i am giving that as e number now we are ready with the primary key also just select this statement just run it here you can see the table is altered successfully after that we are ready with one table now we want to create one more table. The, ta the table name is address table. Create table address underscore tbl. I want in this table I want to have four columns. One is address ID. AID I am giving, which is of number. It is able to store numbers. Up 
So five characters I am giving. After that, I want to store the uh, street of that uh, employee. So that's why I am giving street, which is a where character. Where character. Uh, giving twenty characters. After that, I want to store the city of that employee also. City of where character. Twenty. Uh, I want to store the state also. So the state where character. Uh, I am giving twenty twenty characters. Okay, now we are ready with the table also. Just select the statements. Just run it. You can see that address table is created. Okay. So we want to make that uh, address AID as primary key for that uh, I am using that alter table alter table give that table name I want to give that address underscore table after that the same add constraint add constraint give that uh, constraint name here I am giving that address underscore AID underscore PK to recognize it as primary key name for that after that primary key primary key of that column name you can give but I here I am in my case it is AID so that's why I give an AID after that just select the statement just run it and the table is alter now we are ready with two tables we want one more table, extra table where we can store both primary, both the tables, primary case. I want to store in that particular table. Uh, I will refer the, I will join this table by using foreign key. For so that, I am, I want to create the table also. So, so I create a table, create a table. I am giving the table name as employee underscore. Address underscore TBL. This is the table name I want to give for the table. Inside it, I want only two columns of that employee number and address ID. For that, I am giving a, taking the same column names employee number or for, for ambiguity, I am using another name for that EMP E number. I want to use that. Column name, uh, which is of number, which is able to store five characters. Okay, after that, I want to have one more column, which is nothing but I am giving that name as ADDR AID to recognize AID. I am giving different name to recognize number five. Okay. Two columns are ready. I want to make this two as foreign keys now. For that, I am. We want to use one more uh, query for that foreign key. Foreign key. Foreign key of this table we need to give here. Uh, this table column name we need to give. EMP. E number is and references of. References of that uh, which table you want to make that table uh, column we need to give that table name and column name we need to give uh, here in my case it is employee underscore tbl now just uh, after that we need to give that e number okay now we are ready with one foreign key we want one more foreign key foreign key Foreign key, foreign key of this table we need to give that ADDR AID. This table column name we need to give after that references of references give that table uh, table name uh, that is address underscore table is the table name of that column we need to give primary key column. AID okay 
Now we are ready with the syntax for third table also. Just select this uh, statement, just run it. Table is employee underscore table is created. Uh, to verify us, yes, just select the tables in, the, in our SQL developer, just to refresh it. it. Here you can see that three tables are created. You can check here. Um, the column names are this for address table. It has four columns. Uh, if you want to check the data, just go to the data tab. There is no data available in this. If you want to check the constraints, what constraints I use, just click on that uh, constraints tab. Um, it's taking a little bit time to show that constraints. Okay. Uh, in address table, I have only one constraint that is nothing but one primary key that is. AID. Um, just to go to employee table and verify it. Um, here also only one constraint uh, that is the e number. That is, there is no data available in this table. You can check the columns. There are three columns are available here. After that, uh, just to go to that employee underscore t address underscore TBL. Here also two columns, which is nothing but both are foreign keys. Then you can go to constraints and check verify it. Both are constraints, uh, foreign keys. There is no data available in this table also. Okay. Um, in, in my in my SQL developer, there are sequences. Just I am trying to uh, delete this uh, sequences also. Why? Because I want to uh, I want to increase the primary keys automatically by the Oracle uh, database itself. So that's why I am deleting it. Okay, now we are ready with the table. Three tables we are ready. Now next thing is we need to develop that JPA program which will insert the data. In this video we will we will see inserting the data in the both the tables. This is my previous video. That is one one relationship. Just I am trying to close that uh, tabs. Yes. Okay. First, we need to create the project. Just right click new project. Just select as JPA project. JPA project. Just click on next. After that, give the project name. Here I want to give that term project name as many to many to many. I want to give the project name. After that, after that, click on next. After that, click on next. Um, here I am selecting as Eclipse link some 2.5x version. After that, if you don't have the libraries, just download it from. Select in this option, or if you have, if you have that um, jar files in your local system, just uh, uh, click on that manage libraries, just uh, select new, give that name, and add that external jars. If you don't know, I have created a previous video, you can refer that video. After that, we need to select the connection details here itself, just select the, uh, here I uh, already created the connection details, so that's why I am selecting that. Part. Connection details, just click on finish. When you click on finish, it is asking that I don't want to open that perspective. Okay. You can expand this um, project. When you expand this project inside a SRC folder, I think it's not created the tables. Okay, the persistence.xml is ready. Now we are ready with the project structure. Just open that uh, persistence.xml available in that um, meta icon folder. Uh, go to connections tab. Just uh, in the transaction type, just select that as the resource local. After that, populate from connection. Just select that Oracle. Okay, when you click on that, you will get the, all the connection details. To which database you are connecting? After that, go to a schema generation tab. 
select uh, here database action is there just to select it as uh, create why we are selecting this one is if tables are not available in the our database by using entity classes it will automatically create it uh, by jp will take care of creating the tables database tables also for that why for that reason i am selecting it as create okay uh, go to source you can check all the details here uh, is there i am trying to save that this persistence.xml i don't want any more just what i am doing is just uh, just select the project right click go to jpa tools generate entities from tables why i am selecting is i don't want to create that entity table uh, entities classes manually i want to use that uh, a tool to want to gen test jp tool want to generate the entity classes automatically by using that uh, uh, schema uh, tables uh, for that i am for that reason i am selecting this uh, one just uh, right click jp tools uh, generate entities from tables up when you click on it uh, it will select the connection details in my case it is our uh, oracle so that's why i am selecting oracle after that if you don't got the any table names here just uh, Uh, click on it. When you click on it, it will after some time it will give that all the tables available in our database. Ah, uh, in my case, it uh, four tables are available. For the here, I am selecting only three tables to create the entity entity classes. Just select these three tables. After that, click on next. Ah, uh, here the Eclipse is uh, trying to recognize to which which relationship we having the for the both tables here it is each employee table has many address table and each address table has many employee table it is, uh, the tool is able to recognize uh, saying that it, is, it has many to many relationship when you select that relation and the top and the down you can see that uh, it is showing that many to many relationship between the both tables and given why the third table is not showing here means but the third table cannot mm, We not provided the primary key, no. So that's why it's not showing here. After that, just click on next. I want to, I want to. Our primary key will be generated by the database itself. I don't want to enter the primary key details by the user. So that's why I'm selecting it as sequence. And I am trying to connect with the Oracle database. So that's why. Oracle database uses sequences and MySQL database uses auto increment. For that, I am Oracle now, so that's why I selected sequence. I want to give the sequence name as uh, some employee employee underscore sequence to recognize it as sequence. After that, the annotation should be on field, so that's why I selected field. After that, just I am trying to change the package name. So some package name I want to give as learn to success. Learn to success I want to give the package name. After that just click on next. Here you can see that uh, when you select that address, it is giving the class name. What class name you want? To. I want to make it as address. Uh, I want to change this uh, sequence name also. For address table, I want to make it as address underscore sequence. Okay. After that, select the employee table. Uh, I want to make the entity class name as employee. Okay. After that, sequence name employee underscore sequence. After that, click on finish. When you click on finish, JP uh, tool is able to create the entity classes from the um, tables available in the database just uh, i am trying to see what the code generated by the jp tool so that i am selecting that uh, employee.java class just go to go there it, uh, it created some annotations in the uh, here i want to modify two things one is the sequence uh, allocation size i want to uh, start For that, just go to that sequence generator and annotation. There you can place that allocation size equal to one. I am giving. After that, I want to give that initial value. 
initial value equal to 1. Why I am giving here initial value equal to 1 means starting, the, starting with 1 I want to give. After that allocation size means I want to increment one number at a time. So that's why I am giving this two attributes for the sequence generator annotation. After that I want to enable the cascading. Why I want to enable cascading means uh, uh, if you don't enable this cascading, you need to call two persist methods in case of uh, you are inserting the data in two tables means you know, how many tables you have that many number of persist methods or uh, find methods are we need to call uh, in order to overcome that problem I want to enable this cascading just uh, parenthesis after that just cascade equal to cascade type dot all I want to enable this one okay um, the tool is able to recognize and write all this nonsense we no need to write manually okay it is able to create the generate setters and getters also just select now we are ready with the employee entity class just go to address entity class and verify it just go to address here also I want to provide the two one is allocation size means I want to increment with one so that I am going to that address class entity and just go to that sequence generator annotation just write that attributes allocation size equal to one after that just one more annotation one more attribute I want to write initial value equal to one why because I want to start with the uh, one from one I want to start the uh, number primary key so that's why I think okay now we are ready with everything we no need to write a we no need we need to write cascading only to the parent table we no need to write it for uh, child table why because there is no use when we enable cascading to the child table for that why for that reason for that reason we are not doing that one okay now we are ready with the two and now we are ready with the two entity classes also now we are we want to write main class to it and just uh, select the package new class here i am giving the class name as we have after that just click on finish um in the class i want main method for that way main method is ready first in order to work with jpa first we need to we want entity manager factory object but entity manager factory is an mm, mm, interface for that for that reason we not we are not able to create the object for that persistence the persistence is an implementation class of that uh, entity manager factory just select that persistence dot create entity manager factory is responsible to create the uh, entity manager factory object here we need to mention that uh, persistence unit name the persistence unit name is nothing but your project name or if you don't want if you want that one just uh, go to your meta if I enough go to persistence.xml file go to source just copy this persistence unit name and uh, come to your app.java just give supply here okay now we are ready with this entity manager factory objects after that i want to close that entity manager factory object entity manager factory dot close once we got the entity manager factory object we need to get the entity manager entity manager factory dot create entity manager method is responsible to create the entity manager object Entity manager entity we need to close that entity manager also entity manager entity manager dot close after that in order to in this video we will learn to store the data to store the data into both employee table and address table by using many to many relationships now for that in order to save the data in our tables first we need to um, begin the transaction 
transaction we need to start for that there is a method available which will start the transaction entity manager dot get transaction is the method which is responsible um, we will give the transaction object um, i am not creating the directly but i am directly giving starting the transaction by using this method after that i want to commit the transaction also just entity manager dot get to transaction dot commit after that we need to call that persist method entity manager dot persist method which is responsible to store the data in the database um, here we need to supply the that entity class object here what i am now that the data is not ready now so that's why i want first i want to create the object to employ and i want to store that uh, data in the employee object for that uh, what i am doing is just go new employee uh, after that employee dot set we here we need not uh, we no need to enter the primary key why because the primary key will be generated automatically by the sequence uh, on database will take care of incrementing the primary key for that we need we no need to supply the primary key directly i am supplying employee name and salary employee name i am giving uh, some name you can give any name here i am giving raja after that employee dot set name uh, set name set salary i want to set the salary the salary i want to give as 10000 i am giving okay but uh, why we error means the, the salary is of big decimal for big decimal we need to give as new big decimal of like this we need to provide for big decimal data here i want to give as 10000 okay now we are ready with the employee object we need to store the data in address object also no address class also so for that new address address dot address dot set we no need to provide here address id also address id will take care of that database we link uh, will be able to store the data primary key primary key will be generated by the uh, table uh, here i am directly giving guys in the remaining column data set street of in the street name as some a pet i am giving after that address dot Set city city name I want to provide that employee city name. Ah, uh, HYD I am giving. After that, I want to store that state of that employee also for that address dot set set state of. We can give any state name. Here I am giving S T S. Uh, now we are ready the um, address object also for so we need to inform that one more extra column is available in this address dot java you can see here which is expecting of one instance variable which is expecting of list of employee uh, employee data it is expecting for that we need to just go to app dot java first we need to create that one array list object to store that uh, list of employees new New array list. New array list. I want to store here employee details. For that, uh, in the generics, I am providing that as employee. After that, just control one. We will get the employee list. EMP list. I am giving. Here, what I am. I want to store that employee data. For that, EMP list to dot. Add method is available to add all the employee data to the array list. Okay, now we are ready with the data employee data. 
Uh, you can go to employee class and here you can check that it has one more instance variable which is expecting list of address. For that, we need to create one more array list object which will store the list of addresses. For that array list, uh, I want array list of we want to create one more array list for storing multiple list of employee addresses for that just come here in the generics i want to store i will provide at a address just control one we will get the address list in the address list i want uh, in the array list i want to store this list of addresses available for that uh, employee add of address I am giving first we need to inform that address address addresses of that employee for that address dot set set employee of here we need to provide that employee list we need to supply here informing the when we call this address dot set employee means we are supplying that employee list all all the employee list we are informing to the address similarly we need to inform that employee dot set address tbl of it is expecting of some address list just provide it now we are ready with the code make sure that uh, right after First, write address address uh, address dot set employee tables of employee list. Provide this employee list first. Second, you need to provide this employee dot set address tables of address address list. If you write first, then you will get an error. Okay, now we are ready with the data. Uh, in the persist method, just I am calling only one persist method of employee. I am calling. I am supplying here employee object. Employee object. It will take JP will take care of inserting the data in the both tables. Um, now we are ready with the code. Just to go to SQL Developer and just check whether no data is available in the database and the tables. No data is available in the address table. Similarly to employee underscore TBL, no data is available. Go to employee. Employee underscore table, there is no data. Just when I run the, the on the run my program, the data will be inserted in the three tables. You can check. What I am doing is just go to app.java, just right click, run as, right click, run as Java application. You can check in the console. Okay. Um, this internal exception we no need to worry about it. Database exceptions we not infer. Why why it is exception means um, before we are uh, primary key we want to generate by the database no by using sequences. It is saying that sequences does not exist. So that's why it is creating the sequences and it is trying to increment the sequences uh, primary keys. For that that's the exception we no need to worry. The data is inserted in the database. Just go to the SQL developer. Just to refresh it. Here you can see that in the employee table, the employee data is stored. Just go to that address table also and verify. In the address table also, the data is stored. Um, just go to that employee underscore target table and verify it. That the, you can check here the data is stored. The primary key data is stored in the target table. Employee underscore address underscore table. Uh, similarly, you can similarly you can work with that uh, uh, updating employee data, deleting or retrieving the employee data. Like this, we can work with many to many relationships in JPA. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will do one to many and many to one relationship. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching.